While its primary use is as an 8-channel modulator, Polymaths can act as an 8-channel oscillator with amplitude control. Here's how to set it up. First, press and hold the Mode button until the LED beneath it glows orange. This orange LED indicates that the oscillation section is now operating in its bipolar mode and will function more like a traditional VCO. Next up, set the oscillation panel control fully clockwise. This will set the overall level of the oscillations. Set the rate attenuverter fully clockwise. This jack is where you would patch any pitch control information and setting the attenuverter fully clockwise allows for volt per octave scaling to be maintained. The next step is not necessary, but is recommended, and that's to engage submixing. To do this, press and hold the mode and cycle buttons until the LEDs beneath them glow green. Engaging submixing allows us to take one, two, or however many outputs we like and get a mix of all eight oscillators. Rather than having submixing disengaged and having to take all eight outputs, the choice is yours. With submixing engaged, I'll take output four, which provides me a mix of outputs one through four, as well as output eight, which provides me a mix of channels five through eight. This is a stereo configuration. This is a mono configuration. Patch your pitch control signal, in this case the XCV output from Rene, to the rate CV input. Set the activation mode to whichever you prefer, and patch a gate signal to the activate input. The strength control sets the overall level of amplitude modulation, the shape of which is set by the curve, rise, and fall controls. The shape control sets the wave shape for our oscillators, smoothly morphing from a rising saw to a triangle to a falling saw shape. And this is, of course, voltage controllable through the shape input. Spread and modulation dissemination are still active in this oscillator mode, affecting the rise, fall, strength, rate, and oscillation controls. For example, I could take a sine wave LFO from Multimod, patch it to the spread CV input, increase the spread parameter, and as I turn the strength attenuverter clockwise, Tremolo will appear.